Hi, it's Sue Williams here. Well, the good news is restrictions are starting to lift, hopefully, in the next few weeks. So we'll be getting back to doing our um, seven-step program with my ranch riding and also doing some clinics and lessons, etc. So um, cross fingers, we can all get back to work and, and back to getting our horses uh, tuned up, ready for the show season. So we're looking at probably, um, particularly in the seven step program, which is a weekly thing, um, probably looking at mid June or late, late June, early July, depending obviously on government restrictions lifting. So um, hopefully uh, if you're interested, you know, book in and uh, or give me a call and we'll um, work out a, a program. We only like six people in our seven step program. So it is a very personal program, but it is a program. And, and that's what I think people need. Now that leads me on to a question that has come through to me from Chrissy. Now Chrissy has said to me that she needs some exercises or some program to do with her horse because she works during the week. She's got children uh, and all she can do during the week is a bit of groundwork, but she can only ride on the weekends. So Chrissy's got a round yard and a number of poles uh, that she can work her horse with. She's actually got two horses. Um, so I think Chrissy's issue is a common one. I think a lot of people are working during the week and they've only got weekends to train their horse. So. Um, my answer to, to Chrissy's question, uh, number one is I do have a lot of exercises on my suewilliamsequine.com.au website. So um, Chrissy, if you're watching this, which I know you will, have a look at that. That has got a lot of very basic exercises that you can follow um, when you get a chance, be it after work or be it um, on the weekends. You do need a program, I totally agree. You, you, you cannot train your horse unless you have got a program. So again, um, have a look at my videos. I would be talking for an hour if I went to explain all the exercises that we need to do. So uh, if you're in the Tamworth surrounding areas or whatever, certainly you're welcome to join um, our program, which we'll be starting and we will be advertising it. But uh, let's talk about getting your horse started. Now, you also mentioned in your um, questions about getting your horses fit. Um, and I think the fact that you can do some groundwork during the week, I think that's great. And obviously lunging will fit your horse up, um, getting them, uh, and it's another subject that we also cover in our training section of the seven step program is how to check your horse up in gear so that um, he's dropping off the bit and how to drive him forward from the ground. So there's a lot of that involved as well. And it will give you some tools to go home with once you complete that program. So, uh, like I said, you know, here on the video, I can only answer a few little things for you. But certainly use your groundwork uh, during the week to get your horses fit. I would suggest you start off by, if they're unfit and just paddock fat, just start off with five minutes each way. We actually time our horses when we lunge. So um, I'll work them and you're very lucky you have got a round yard, a lot of people don't. So I suggest for those people that don't have a round yard, if you've got a corner of a paddock, just a corner, you could use that as two sides of a, of a round yard. You could also put in some little, those little things you buy with a loop in them that you can put a little tape around. If your horse is civilized, you can actually create a bit of a round yard, a bit of a guide that you could use. And 40 foot's probably as big or as, as you know, about the right size for a round yard. Um, if you've got a makeshift one, I would put your horse on a lunge rather than free lunge him. If you've got a round yard like you have or we have, um, certainly you could free lunge. And again, that's in some of our video series. So, uh, you know, do that. Get them fit, start off with five minutes, then go up to 10 and then maybe 15. But you don't want an endurance horse either. So don't get, and they get sick of just going round, round, round. So, so please don't get into the trap of just, you know, lunging them for the sake of that, you know. 
Um, Chrissy, uh, just just to uh, say again, if you would go to my YouTube channel, you'll see there's two parts to a lunging to lunging video where we hook up with the with our horses. So they would be a good place for you to start. And also there's some more recent videos with my husband David doing it with some young horses. So uh, you could use them also as a bit of your groundwork uh, stuff that you're doing. Um, also, you mentioned you've got poles. I think it's always a good exercise to uh, get your horse understanding walking, jogging over poles. I think it gets them very balanced. So that's not a bad thing to use as well if you want to. Um, make sure they're the same distance apart and and that it's, it's relevant to your horse's size and jog stride. So that's very important as well. So my YouTube channel is Sue Williams Equine Versatility. So just look them up. There are a lot of exercises and if you look at them, you can actually put them into a program. So then you'll go into, there's another couple of videos there on body control exercises. So once you're up on board on the weekend, start off with some of those body control exercises. We have, you know, two track exercises. We have moving the hip exercises. We have getting a lateral flexion exercise. There's quite a lot in there. So, and they're very, very basic. And I hope they're easy for you to understand. And like I said, those of you watching, there's probably a lot of people in this situation where you are working or you've got kids during the week and you can only do it when your husband's home. So, I mean, my daughter was in the same situation too. You know, when you've got little ears, they're pretty time consuming. So, so um, you know, work work the the uh, exercises to your program and fit them in where you can, and um, and I hope they help.